What's on guys? Welcome back to the TR7 Skate YouTube channel. Today, we're gonna be working on the axle stool's not so evil cousin, the feeble stool. In order to learn this one, you only really need to be comfortable doing backside kick turns, but if you can already backside rock and roll, that's gonna really help because it's a very similar body motion. So a backside feeble, because it's backside, that means you're gonna be approaching the ramp with the coping behind you, backside, and as you come up, you're gonna be turning just enough that one truck gets onto the coping, and then the front truck is gonna go up onto the top deck. And then from there, you can turn it, bring it back in, and ride away. So this trick can be done stalling or it can be done grinding, but for the sake of this tutorial, we're gonna focus on the stall today. And because it's a stall, that means you're gonna wanna come in dead straight. You don't wanna come in at too much angle or it will start to grind along the coping. So you're coming at the ramp nice and straight with your arms by your sides, and then as you're going up towards the top of the ramp, you're going to want to think about starting to turn those shoulders backside enough that the board can turn that way. And you're going to wait until you hear and feel the sound of that back truck hitting the coping. And that's when you can push the front foot down, get that front truck right up on top. From here, all you need to do is turn back into the ramp. But something good to think about, as you're coming into it, you want to be leaning on that toe edge of the board just to really help you get round. And as soon as you hear and feel that truck hit the coping, you want to push that front foot down and get the front truck right up on top. The perfect lock-in is when that wheel is right up against the coping. But when you first do it, you'll probably find that it goes right up on top like that which is actually fine as well. You should still be able to bring it in from there as long as you're really confident with committing and landing the trick. So that's locking the back truck in. The next thing you want to think about is your weight distribution. The easiest way to think of it is where is your head? Your head is the heaviest part of your body. If you do a feeble where you're stood right up on top of the ramp like this, chances are that your head's this side of the coping, up on the top deck. But the ones where it fully locks in, the easiest way to get it to do that is to keep your head in the ramp the whole time so that you're ready to go back in. The final step is obviously going to be landing the trick. And just like a few other tricks, backside involving the coping, it's all to do with your shoulders and your arms. So from here, if I want to go back in, I'm going to bring my leading arm round in front of me and my back arm round behind me, as well as leaning my head right into the ramp. And that's going to help me turn away from it and ride away. If you're up at the top and you're not sure about it, you're not sure if you're ready to come back in, easiest thing to do is just jump off, stay up on the top deck, go back and try it again. It's always safer to commit if you're confident that you've locked in well. Don't risk it if you're a bit unsure, maybe your feet have slipped a little bit. Always make sure that you're comfortable with the lock-in, ready to turn away from it. So that's the backside feeble stall tutorial. I hope this video helps. It's a great trick to get the hang of, especially if you're like me and you struggled a bit to get the hang of those axle stalls or 50-50s. This is a great way to get yourself used to turning backside and getting that back truck locked in on the coping. Remember to click subscribe and hit the little bell so that you don't miss our future videos. Feel free to comment below if you enjoyed this one or you've got any other ways that you do the backside feeble or even if you've got a trick you're struggling that you'd like help with. Cheers for watching, see you next week.